Justin Cottrell from Waverly, Ohio in the orange number four. This is hot lap qualifying, so these laps do count. So first three cars on the speedway. Davey Akers there in the 51A from Wellston, Ohio. It's MB Customs, number 51A. It's the Thomas Gas Service, Southern Ohio Retroform, Realtech Real Estate, number 51. So yellow flag still on the speedway. All right, now I think we're good to go. And we're gonna be able to turn our first group here loose for their hot lap qualifying. Remember these laps do count. White 14 of Jackson Robbins there all the way from Birmingham, Alabama. Long haul, got the lightning number 14 ready to roll. CFM Racing Equipment, Greenwald Lawn and Landscaping. All right, hopefully maybe get them to spread out a little bit. We've got a whole racetrack here, and they just want to be bunched together. Carl, you having fun yet, brother? You know, this is really cool for me. I've uh, I raced back here in the in the late '90s in a modified. And uh, oh, you were a modified. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, I ran, the best I ever ran here was fifth. That was before dirt draft. I could have picked you. That was before a lot of things, James. By the way, the track record in the late models I mentioned is set in a Lucas Oil race back in 2015. That's what nine years ago. Jimmy Owens, 12, seven, four, eight. Now. I see this Bob Crace here. He's going to be out Bob a little Crace's bit. Bob Crace's been around a long time. I raced with him back when I was here and ran my modified. We're reading about him in uh, – it's a junior and senior, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I believe so, but I think We're reading about them in Mid-American Auto Racing News back in the day. Yes. Very, very strong race cars at this place. Well, Mark Frazier in a late model course, the racing CPA, who's not racing any longer. You never know. He may come back sometime. Nine – oh, excuse me, eight times a track champion here. Out of Chillicothe, Ohio. Rod Conley. Uh, R.J. Conley was the track champion here a year ago. Yeah, then his brother was in 2022. Todd Brennan in 2021. Freddie Carpenter in 2020. Now, Rod Conley is not here today. He was going to be here Friday night, but he had a prior commitment today. His wife, Jackie, being inducted into the Shawnee State University Hall of Fame for her softball career down there in Portsmouth, Ohio. So congratulations to the Conleys. But we do have R.J. and son-in-law Justin Cooper here with us here this afternoon, the defending track champion here at Atomic. Yeah, if there was an Atomic Hall of Fame, those two would be in it. Well, Delmas Conley, of course. Yes. Late Delmas Conley, we miss him so much. And you remember Jason Montgomery back in the day. Mm -hmm. Jason Montgomery, two-time track champion here in Lamont in 05 and 06. His son-in-law is Seth Daniels, who's racing with us this afternoon. Boy, some great names in the past here. Skip Waterman, Charlie Seymour, of course, John Osmond. Larry Bond, Aaron Bapst, Keith Berner, Delmas, Ben Atkins won in 08. Delmas won there uh, uh, four out of five years, 07 and through 011. Uh, through, uh, it was an 011. He raced a long time, but not that long. <laughs> 011 would be a long time ago. You know what? He, he would be 82 years old now. Passed away a couple years. He'd still be racing. Yeah. I know I know he would be, but he and he'd be competitive too. He'd have been racing with Barney Oldfield. Yeah. Well, we miss Earl Pearson Jr. too. Missed his first race 
Uh, backing down on the schedule. He's still going to be racing. He's not retiring. Yeah, uh, plans to be at the Show Me 100. I'm told. So, okay. Uh, okay. They're still driving for Jason Round, but they're they're backing off from the tour this year. But they're going to be several. You know, they'll be MLRA. They'll be doing all kinds of stuff, but uh, just not on a weekly basis. So, 852 races. Tonight is our 854th race. He was at 852. Of them. Now, two of them were hardship points night, which still counts that you're there. Okay, you're not there. But he still get points like you were there, okay? And that was because his son graduated high school and his father passed away, so they had the funeral. So he got hardship points for that. It's Tw- unreal 19, numbers. Nine, it'll never happen again, most no way. likely. It's never happened before. 19 consecutive years in one national touring circuit. He was with Lucas Oil, and he still is, since 2000. So 23. Wow. this is the 24th year with Lucas Oil Products. But I know Oral, Oral Miss is being here, and I know we'll see him down the road and. I know he's watching. He was watching last night, telling telling Rick how to get the track prepared, right? <laughs> Eat some more water, move the tires in. So there you go. Okay. We can We're always going help. I love it. All right. I we think miss we got Cheryl. We, we love you, man, and uh, we'll see you down the road, brother. I think we got our transponders rocking and rolling now. So back underway here for CNM Racing Equipment Sport Mod Hot Lap Qualifying. We got the 14 of Jackson Robbins, Justin Cottrell in the C4, Davey Akers in the 51A. Davey Akers is 16 double zero seven. Let's see if we can get a time here on Jackson Robbins and Justin Cottrell. Well, we did get the lap on the 51 is, is scoring. That's a 15-9, so his second lap better than the first for Davey Akers. All right, so score laps for Davey Akers, a 15-9-4-9, the quickest his second lap. And then we had the four there of Justin Cottrell grabbing some concrete in turn number four there on the final. Now, you haven't been here in a while. they got the new scoreboard up over there. Look at that. Yeah, inside turn two. We can get a shot of that, Tiffany. Tiffany Swisher, our producer. There you go. We got ten spots on the scoreboard. What do we have on the other one? Five, Charlie? Yeah, three, three. We need Charlie to go live on Facebook. I want to see that. Right underneath the score, maybe sitting on top of the scoreboard in a lift. He said he still couldn't get a Verizon signal. <laughs> <laughs> Love Charlie and his uh, his promotership. He does a great job here at Atomic Speedway. Putting a lot of work in it, a bunch of work on the front straight Oh, yeah, away. they just painted this wall, by the way, and yep. the Cottrell got into it. <laughs> He's going to owe him some white so he, paint. So he will be getting a bill in the mail, <laughs> or maybe deduct from his pay tonight, right? All right, looks like the W1 now of William Caudell from Mount Sterling, Ohio, out for his hot laps of qualifying. Then the 10P, that's Cody Price from Jackson, Ohio. And the 601 of Joshua Harrington from right here in Chillicothe. Green flag is out. So William Caudell. The W1, Cody Price in the 10P, and Joshua Harrington in the 601. Cody Price, a good lap. The first one, a 16.583. Joshua Harrington's first lap, a 15.860. Now Joshua Harrington to the top. And second lap, even better, a 15.822. So right now, Joshua Harrington on top with the 601. Davey Akers in the 51A. Cody Price in the 10P third quick. And it's William Caldwell. All right, next group of cars coming out. The number 11, that is Willie Stout from Washington Courthouse. And also the 11S of Sterling Packer from New Albany, Ohio. Looks just like two cars here in this session.
And Sterling Packer got it up for fourth quick in the 11S, a 16 594. The Ashbrook Distillery, two hot chicks food truck, number 11S from New Albany, Ohio. Wait a minute, you're not getting away with that. What was that? You heard it, two hot chicks food truck. Are you a patron? No. Huh? Where is that located? <laughs> Probably in New Albany, Ohio. <laughs> it's right next door to the Ashbrook Distillery. It is two, a, two hot chicks food truck. It's a party in the streets, buddy. Sounds like something over the Rhine there in Cincinnati, right? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. All right, back to it. Nick McNicholas from Ray, Ohio, out in the number 17. He was supposed to be with the group earlier, but just. Camden Hauser with a good lap in the number 30. That's good enough for third quick at 16215. Mike Long, fifth quick in the black number 35. It's a 16-3-5-2, but still Joshua Harrington on top in the number 601 with a 15-8-2-2. Current quick lap right now. All right, next group of cars make their way to the speedway. From Laurelville, Ohio, the number 42A, and that's going to be Jamie Adams. And looks like the 7J of Adam Jordan from South Webster, Ohio, behind him. And the number 56 of Bryant Dillon from South Salem, Ohio. Green flag out here at the Atomic Speedway. Good look at number 42 there for Jamie Adams. Jamie Adams with a good lap second quick in the number 42A. 15-9-1-3 for lap number one. Bryant Dillon a decent lap, seventh quick in the 56D. And the second lap a little quicker for Jamie Adams but still only good enough for second quick overall. Oh, big trouble there for the, for the 7J of Adam Jordan. Made some infield concrete there and just totally rearranged the nose on that race car. All right, so the quickest in that group there is the number 42. That is Jamie Adams from Laurelville, Ohio. That nice car looking car, quick. brother. I like yeah. that. I like the way that's. Yeah, quickest in the group and second quick overall for the 42. So good lap. I like it. It's not too busy, as they yeah. say. There's not. It's not all muddied up let's it's just say. fast enough call michael the fever slicker graphics he'll set you up right? all right here's kevin wills from chillicothe ohio the number nine k down to turn number one who else we got number 11 that is brandon collie from minford ohio in the number 11 b and then our third car is going to be the 44 that is josh curtis from grayson kentucky They've come from all over this Sunday, A lot Sunday, of great James. drivers from Grayson, yeah. Kentucky, right? Yes. Jack Boggs, Jackie Boggs, to name a few. Kevin Wills with a good lap, third quick in the 9K. Good laps. And his second lap a little quicker, but still just good enough for third quick for Kevin Wills in the number 9K pulling to the infield now. See, Josh Curtis, he was 15th quick in that 44. And then uh, Brandon Colley, 8th quick in the 11B. All right, next group. Looks like that is the 36. Chris Matheny from Mount Sterling, Ohio. And the number 16 of Alex Broughton from Waverly, Ohio. 
And our third car is going to be the number 23. That is Bob Crace right here in Chillicothe, Ohio. Well, we got four cars. See, James, three's a party, but four is just too much. I see Waiting for Data did not show up today yet. <laughs> Usually a late arrival. Don't you love that? Better late than never. <laughs> Better late than never. <laughs> Are you having fun, Carl? Come on, man. I am. Here we go. We always have fun. Sport, lot, sport mod hot laps. Qualifying continues back under green flag conditions now. Bob Crace under the clock. Here comes Crace, the three and four now. We'll see what his first lap is. Oh, quick time for Mr. Bob Crace in the number 23. 15, 8, 1, 2. One hundredth of a second all it, all it took. And second lap a little slower, but still the first lap will do it for Bob Crace. To the top of the, tar top of the charts in the number 23. Easy for me to say. He's a chart topper, right? And he is. You work on radio. You know what that's all about. <laughs> Traffic and weather on the tens. Well, I play classic rock, so it was uh, already charted. So no Rick Springfield or? Uh, well, yes, but hopefully not. Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, that kind of stuff. I always thought Jethro Tull was a guy's we played, name. We played Jethro Tull. I always thought that was a guy's name. It's the name of the flute. You're right on this is awesome, man. We should be on that. What was that Don Cornelius Soul Train? There we go. <laughs> well, we got the number two. That's Austin Baker out of Waverly, Ohio, on the speedway now. And there's the 73. That's Tonka Harris out of Beaver, Ohio. Tonka? I like that. Yeah, Tonka Harris. How many Tonka toys did you have growing up? As many as I could. Love it. All of them. Awesome. Tonka Harris. Wish I still had them. They'd be worth a little penny. Let's see. Tonka 17th quick in the number 73. Pat Garrett with a good lap, though, in the number 3. Up to sixth quick for Pat Garrett. Good lap for him. And Austin Austin Barker also in the number two up to the seventh spot. So those three cars with good laps. Racetrack still in good shape. Bob Crace came out 20th and then set quick time. So there's plenty of racetrack up here shaping up nicely. Okay, looks like we got the number 18. That is Miles Cook, the second out of Wheelersburg, Ohio. And Shannon Davis out of Waverly, Ohio in the 4D. And the RC10 of Reed Bishop from Bidwell, Ohio. Ten pulls to the infield. Reed Bishop. I'm trying to see where that four finished there. Oh, here he is, Shannon Davis, 20th quick there with his second lap. All right. And Sportmon hot lap qualifying continues. We see the 740, that is Rob LeMaster from Wellston, Ohio. And the 8-up, that is Sonny Leak from Middleburn, West Virginia. Home of Tyler County Speedway. Yeah, and Blake Sheets also from Waverly, Ohio, out there on the 3B. Home of Junior Smalley. Remember him? He used to race over here all the time. Yeah, I've seen him run a few laps here. Yep. Miles Cook with a good lap. Up to fourth quick. Oh, 
All right, Sonny Leak in the eight up, 14th quick. And then the 740, that was Rob LeMaster, 22nd. He times in. And I believe this will be our final car. Yeah, Jeff Conrad from Chillicothe, Ohio in the 62C. Have an empty racetrack all to himself. Hard on the gas down in turns one and two right through the middle. I don't even think he let the loud pedal breathe at all going into three. Here we go. What's the lap time going to be? Lap number one for the 62. It's quick time. Jeff Conrad, 15, 3, 6, 7. I guess he didn't live back there, James. Looking just as good through three and four this time. Coming to the stripe. It is better. 15, 2, 6, 1. Jeff Conrad, quick time for your sport mods. All right, you're seeing them racing equipment sport mods. Hot lap qualifying now complete. Jeff Conrad on top of the 62C, then Bob Crace in the 23. Joshua Harrington in the 601, then Blake Sheets in the 3B. Jamie Adams in the 42A, rounding out your top five. Then it's Miles Cook, the second, sixth. Kevin Wills, seventh. Davey Akers, eighth. Pat Garrett, ninth. And Austin Barker, rounding out your top ten. There you go. Good job. All right. You're a real pro at this sport mod stuff, aren't you, brother? <laughs> We're going to take a brief break here on MAV TV on Flow Racing. And coming up next, we'll have Dirt Draft Hot Laps with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Again, 42 cars with us tonight. Four heats, two Bs, and the 50 lap 12,000 in main event coming up here on MAV TV on Flow Racing. We'll be right back. Welcome back here to the Lucas Oil Late Motor Dirt Series at Atomic Speedway, just south on Highway 23, U.S. Highway 23, Chillicothe, Ohio, just north of here, the Dixie Chopper Buckeye Spring 50. By the way, our good friend Michael Lefevre, of course, uh, Carl, you saw him like his late model debut last week at Florence. Didn't do too bad at all, third generation racer. Mm -hmm. But Slicker Graphics, a big part of the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Last night, the slickest move of the race, guess who, Devin Moran. Definitely. I mean, you could have given it to several drivers, but Devin Marine earned that one last night. His first ever win at Brownstown, his first Lucas Oil win of the year. And Slicker Graphics this year presenting the, the whoever gets the most slickest move of the race points during the year, $2,000 cash at our awards banquet later this year. Second place will get $1,000. So Devin Moran, the winner last night of the slickest move of the race. Thank you to Michael Lefevers of Slicker Graphics. Don't forget, we got our sportsmanship points, and that's uh, Coleman Farms, uh, the driver with the most uh, of that, and uh, we'll get more on that. And of course, the Deathridge Optician, most popular driver as well, and uh, more on that later. But thanks to those folks for coming on board and presenting those awards in 2024. As we see the back straightaway, what's in that garage over there, Carl? I don't see much going on over there. Do any hot rods in there? 
it's not as interesting as Port Royal. If you've seen Port Royal, we've got those nice houses about 100 years old in the back straightaway, right? Those are pretty nice. They're hardcore. They'll race with, like, ice still on the fence. Argabri did it from the front porch with some sweet tea once. Yes, yes. All right, we're going to run the track in here just a little bit. And again, coming up hot laps, we have six groups of hot laps. Group A, by the way, when we do all-star performance time trials, when we do all-star performance time trials, heats one and two will come out of group A. Heats three and four out of group B. The winner of heat number one will be on the pole today at Atomic, will be on the Victory Fuel pole. By the way, thanks to the folks at Victory Fuel, we've got some back here in the back. We're going to have to get some of that. I'm, I'm hyped up enough. Can you imagine me with some Victory Fuel? After the heat races, I'll be ready. I may go out and take a lap by myself. I got some new <laughs> sketchers. Are those, are those? You're going to need them to go up and down these steps. I hope they don't do a sample. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to be back. All-star performance time trials. Uh, hot laps, rather. We're going <laughs> to. You got me all confused. Dirt draft hot laps coming up next for the Lucas Oil Late Bottle Dirt Series on this sun-drenched Sunday afternoon here at Atomic Speedway. We'll be right back. That's all right. We're not going away. <laughs> Sometimes you wish you could hide or hide. All right, we're ready to go. All right, Atomic Speedway, are you ready for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series? Here we go, 42 strong here. And on the racetrack, the current Midway Sheba Middles point, points leader out of Martinsville, Indiana. That is Ricky Thornton, Jr. Ricky Thornton, Jr., the SSI Motorsports Big River, Big River Steel Hoker Trucking Entry. He is out of Martinsville, Indiana. Behind him, the Brad Spochas Centerline Motorsports. Last night's Todd Steel Buildings Hard Charger at Brownstown, Indiana. From 14th to 4th, it is Max Blair. Max Blair out of Centerville, Pennsylvania. Behind him, Seth Daniels. Jason Montgomery is his brother-in-law. I didn't mean to make, make Jason sound older with being his father-in-law, but that's his brother-in-law, Jason Montgomery of Seth Daniels, <laughs> two-time track champion here. And by, uh, Jason is going to be running, uh, I believe, in a sprint car? Is he on the list? I got word Jason Montgomery. There he uh, this is. That's yeah, that's Jalen Montgomery. I think that's his daughter. That's right? the only Montgomery we got. That's, that's, that's right. Montgomery Gentry. They were good. They're still all right, aren't they? We lost Troy Gentry, but we still have we still have half of Montgomery Gentry, right? And half is better than none. I know. You were the fifth Beatle, by the way, weren't you? I'd take that paycheck. There's the NOS Energy drink number nine. That'll be Nick Hoffman out of Mooresville, North Carolina, the Ty Torrig entry. There's the 93, the Paylor Motorsports entry. Pullman Farms, Hoopa. Entry of Carson Ferguson, Cousin Carson. He's out of Lincoln, North Carolina, in car number 93. There's the 49 car, the Nutridex Lucid's ASC warranty entry of three-time series champion Jonathan Davenport. Jonathan Davenport out of Blairsville, Georgia, here in Group 1 hot laps with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Also the 43S was with us last night at Brownstown. And his first year in an open late model coming next year on the main straightaway. That is Derek Stewart. Derek Stewart out of Ainsworth, Iowa in 43. Seth Daniels, we mentioned, out of Jackson, Ohio in the S21. All right, so Group 1 will make their way back to the pitter. They'll be coming up here for All-Star Performance Time Trials is Group Number 2. And again, Group A, they'll qualify amongst themselves. We'll start with Ricky Thornton Jr. Brendan Smith will be the final qualifier in Group A. And in Group B, it'll be led up by Missouri's Dylan McCowan. And the last qualifier of the night is the 2022 Dirt Track World Champion Garrett Smith with us here this afternoon out of Eatonton, Georgia. So our next crew makes their way onto the track here at Atomic Speedway. As we head down the back straightaway, there's the B5, the Coltman Farms entry. He is out of New Berlin, Illinois, the reigning dirt track world champion, equal to great Freddie Smith last October at Eldora. That is Brandon Shepard out of New Berlin, Illinois. 
In the Longhorn factory car behind him. Driver was very impressive during Speed Weeks. A hard crash last night. They pulled out a second car in that Brian Green crew chief car. That is Clay Harris. Clay Harris in that nice looking number six. He's out of Jupiter, Florida. First time here, and here's last night's runner-up coming at you, the 32 car out of Oakwood, Illinois. The smooth operator, that is Bobby Pierce. Bobby Pierce, the low voltage, number 32, Hoker Trucking Entry. Again, out of Oakwood, Illinois. His dad, the Hall of Famer, Bob Pierce. There's the JCM Motorsports car, the 19M of Spencer Hughes. Spencer Hughes, the Neon Bubbles car wash, the Yellow Hammer Entry. Clyburn Take Lines out of Meridian, Mississippi, or car 19M, that is Spencer Hughes. Also on the track is the seven, that is Ross Robinson. Ross Robinson out of Georgetown, Delaware. There's the 25, the Joe Gatsi crew chief entry, capital car. That is Tony Jackson, Jr. Tony Jackson, Jr., five-time Mars Series champion, two-time Lucas Oil MLRA champion at 11 in Missouri in car 25. There's Ross Robinson, the Stokely Materials. NL Joseph, number 25, or excuse me, the number seven, and also the 99, Devin Moran, last night's winner, the Double Down Motorsports, Big River Steel, CNW Trucking Entry, out of Dresden, Ohio. Well, they're about three tenths of a second off the track record again. Jimmy Owens back in 2015 in the Lucas Oil Race, 12 7 4 8. Spencer Hughes. The JCM Motorsports, that team, Colton Miller, based in Birmingham, Alabama. The new ride this year for Spence, and it's 13 13-018 for Spencer Hughes in the 19M out of Mississippi. Bobby Pierce second in 32. And then we have Devin Moran in 99, last night's winner at Brownstown. Again, the last 10 Lucas Oil races, 10 different winners. Incredible parody in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series running for that $200,000 championship at season's end in the Big River Steel. Chase for the championship brought to you by ARP. Group number three coming up on the racetrack. Here at Atomic Speedways, the crowd continues to roll in. It's the 75 car now hailing out of Peru, Illinois. That is Daniel Adam. Daniel Adam in the 75 car. On the racetrack, behind him, the 17 double S, the youngster out of Dade City, Florida. And the uh, Sean Smith own entry, his father owns that car. That is Brendan Smith. Brendan Smith and the 17 double S behind them coming at you out of turn number four. In the Ken and Beth Roberts 58, Roberts Racing, the of Valley Transportation entry now hailing out of Dubuque, Iowa. That is Garrett Alberson. Garrett Alberson in car 58. In the two-star car back with us. He was with us at East Bay. That is Logan Hitt. Logan Hitt out of Buckhannon, West Virginia in car two-star in the number one, the best performance car out of New Waverly, Texas. That is Tyler Erb in the 43 car coming at you, the kryptonite. He's out of Parkersburg, West Virginia in a steel block. That is Mike Sprouse, Mike, or Dustin Sprouse. Mike Sprouse will be coming up in group B in that kryptonite 43 car out of Parkersburg. There's Logan Hitt, his father, Shane Hitt, last year's track champion at Elkins, West Virginia. Made one of the shows down in East Bay in the final Winter Nationals back in February, the Jenkins Ford entry. There's Tyler Herb, the number one car. A top 15 last night at Brownstown, always runs well here, just located up the road. Is the race team in St. Mary's, Ohio, just north of Eldora Speedway, Eric and Kelly Brock. And it's going to be Garrett Alberson at 13, 1, 5, 4, 1, 3, 1, 5, 4. For the 58, there he is, Garrett Alberson, the Roller Machine, Messiah Valley Transportation. Done right TV entry for the Las Cruces, New Mexico, native now living in the state of Iowa. Tyler Herb second at 13, 2, 5, 7. And Daniel Adam at 13, 3, 2, 6. Carl, keep waiting, Garrett Alberson. We got Dolan Wilson. Got his first Lucas Oil win back in February. We've had 90 different winners in the history of the Lucas Oil Series. Garrett Alberson's going to be next, I think. He has speed. Sooner for than sure. later. Yeah. No doubt about it as he makes his way back to the pit area. So group number four will be coming up next here in Dirt Draft Hot Laps for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Again, get the app, Dirt Draft. You get $100,000, you get the – hey, it's great. Great fantasy racing you got to pick five, the top five in the feature tonight, okay? No certain order, right? Maybe. I don't know. Get a T-shirt. 
It's all good, right? You could be a winner. We'll announce it right here at some point. We'll give you the updated points maybe when we find out more. But a great fun thing to do, and uh, we welcome Dirt Draft again back to Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. There will be a cash award to the driver of the first Dirt Draft Hot Lap Awards during the season at our awards banquet later on. Here's the driver that ran with us down at East Bay. In the 47 car, that is Brandon Waggle. Brandon Waggle out of Middleburn, West Virginia. His father, Steve Waggle, multi-time track champion at Tyler County. The 93 car, the Ponchos Racing Products entry, that is Corey Lawler. Corey Lawler, he's out of Hanover, Pennsylvania, 93. Behind him, the 8 car, the Sonic entry. Last year's Lucas Oil MLRA Rookie of the Year, Dylan McCowan. Dylan McCowan in car number 8, the 11 car. A uh, good run last night at Brownstown. That is Josh Rice. Josh Rice out of Verona, Kentucky. Always solid here at Atomic in the Rick Jones. Sinise's construction number 11. Behind him, the new driver of the Rocket One car, the Valvoline. Soybert Calf Ranches, Petrov Towing Entry, that is T-Mac, Tim McCready, Tim McCready out of Watertown, New York, the 18D car, the James Ratliff Entry out of Fayetteville, North Carolina, that is Dalton Wilson, Dalton Wilson in the 18D car, the 99B, the Brick Transport Entry, Dave Warren Power Sports car of Boom Briggs, Boom Briggs in car number 99B. We've got our first 12-second lap as they enter the checkered flag here. Rob Penrod. Is he on the flag stand? Him and Rick Monroe at Eldora Speedway. Oh, baby. You know it's a big show when Penrod's in the house. How about that? 12, 9, 8, 6 coming at you. The Valvoline number one. How about it for T-Mac Tim McCready in car number one. Two-time Lucas Oil champion. And announced in the past uh, week or so. As Hudson O'Neill is now in the K&O Rumley 71 for this weekend. Longhorn Cornet, that's the Rocket Durham of Tim McCready. 12-9-8-6. Boom Briggs. How about Boom? 13-2-0-3. And in Dalton Wilson at 13-3-0-3. Boom had those Senecas lit up out there, didn't he, man? He was going at it. Good for him. Made the show last night at Brownstown. Won one of the B-Mains. Boom's a good guy. Good racer. Good to have him around back in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. All right, group number five. That's Mike Sprouse right there in the Kryptonite Steel Block. He is out of Parkersburg, West Virginia in car number 43. El Mariachi. El Mariachi on the sponsor on that car. I love that. Out of Parkersburg in 43. Behind him, the C4. You know who that is, the 2020 track champion here, the kryptonite entry. That is fast. Freddie Carpenter, the fastest ponytail coming at you out of Parkersburg, West Virginia in the C4. Behind him, the Valvoline number four. That is Trip Gerald. Trip Gerald out of her sales, Kentucky, back in a super late model full time here in 2024. Behind him in the 68. He's in the Jim Beam and own car, the Stricker Auto Parts entry. That is Adam Stricker. Adam Stricker out of Batavia, Ohio, behind him. Former Dirt Lane Motor Dream, one of the Womack Truck Sales entry, the 28 out of Carpentersville, Illinois. That is Dennis Herb Jr. Dennis Herb Jr. at 28. Heading into turn to one, the Red 71C, the defending track champion. It is R.J. Conley. R.J. Conley out of Wheelersburg, Ohio, the Conley River Terminal, Conley Trucking entry, and the 70. Don't call him the kid no more. It's Drake Troutman. He's out of Hyndman, Pennsylvania. In car 17, he'll put on his show here that Wheeler Fleet Solutions, number seven. All right, so one car under 13 seconds. See if we can get some more here. Two tenths of a second off the track record was T-Mac the last time out in that last group. There's the... Red and yellow 71C, always beautiful looking race cars for the Conley team. RJ, and again, brother Rod down there celebrating with wife Jackie into the Shawnee State University Sports Hall of Fame. 13 239 for that seven coming at you, folks. First time here in a late model. He's running modified here. How about for Drake Troutman out of Heinemann, PA, in car seven? 13 239 in that group. An 18 years old Carl, and he's got a lot of talent. He's going to have a bright future in dirt late model racing. All right, sixth and final group. That one's loaded. Look at that. Coming up next, 
A lot of heavy hitters in all, uh, 42 of the best in the nation, in the region. No doubt about it here this afternoon at Tommy Glad each and every one of you have come out here. Final group coming up next. Be led out, of course, by the number 28 car, the holder in construction entry out of Parkersburg, West Virginia. Two-time Gateway Dirt Nationals winner. That is Tyler Carpenter. Tyler Carpenter in car 28. Behind him, the 2022 Dirt Track World Champion winner in the Atlanta paving entry. That is Garrett Smith. Garrett Smith, the terminal maintenance construction entry out of Eatonton, Georgia. Behind him, former Knoxville Late Model Nationals winner, the Bob and Lisa Cullen, Thomason Express entry. He is out of Chatham, Illinois. That is Squirrel Brian Shirley. Brian Shirley in the 3S, New Concord, Ohio's. Caden Black in his season debut, the 57 car. Behind him, the track record holder. In the Reese Monument Company, ultimate towing and recovery number 20 out of Newport, Tennessee, the Newport Nightmare, Jimmy Owens. By name is Good Buddy, the 157, third place last night at Brownstown. He is in the Greg Bruning Skyline Motorsports entry out of Winfield, Tennessee, the Winfield Warrior, Mike Marler. And in the can of Rumley Longhorn Cornet, d Marine entry, the defending Lucas Oil champion, the defending World 100 winner out of Martinsville, Indiana, that is Hudson O'Neill. Hudson O'Neill in the black 71. O'Neill back in a 71, Carl. There you go. Here we go. Sixth and final group of hot laps with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Well, there you go at the sixth and final group. And the fastest in that group at 13, 2, 7, 6, the defending Buckeye Spring 50 winner coming at you. The K&O Rumley Longhorn, the 71 out of Martinsville, Indiana. How about it? Hudson O'Neill in 71. But Tim McCready was the fastest here in Dirt Draft Hot Laps. Unofficially. 12.9 in the Rocket 1. Only driver in the 12s. Yeah. I think I only messed up once last night in the driver swap there. Last night I did call <laughs> McCready in the 39 car once. Now, McCready, of course, was in the 39 for Paler Motorsports. That is now the 93 car, Carson Ferguson. Of course, Hudson O'Neill leaving the Rocket One. He's in the Rumley, at least for this weekend. He's got about a month. He's got a little over a month to find a full-time ride. He's second in the points. So work on that. Carl, we need to get a car together. Yep. With your bucks, we could do that, couldn't we? We could have a three-car team. We can buy, like, one tire with my bucks. We could buy one tire, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. All right, coming up next, and of course, McCready, who started his career in a rocket mm -hmm. with Sweeteners Plus, but he has never driven a Rocket XR1, which has been the newest model in the last, I don't know how many years that's been now. So there you go, Mike Marler second in that group, Jimmy Owens, Brian Shirley, Garrett Smith, Tyler Carpenter, and Caden Black. All right, coming up, all-star performance time trials with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. We'd like to thank all of our official sponsors, including Lucas Oil Products, MAV TV, Motorsports Network, Flow Racing, Protect the Harvest, General Tire, Big River Steel, Sunoco Race Fuel, sponsoring the Sunoco Race Fuels Road to Wheeling, ARP, E3 Spark Plug, Summit Racing Equipment, Arizona Sports Shirts, all-star performance, uh, VLAN Metal Services, Brandon Ford, our official pace truck, O'Reilly Auto Parts, our official Rookie of the Year sponsor, Todd Steel Buildings, a hard charger, UNOH, they sponsor the scales, armless.com, Dirt Draft, Nutrient Ag Solutions, our start and restart zone, Miller Welders, My Race Pass, Homatro, Dave Warren, Power Sports, our caution flag sponsor, Who's Your Tire, Buzz Electric Bikes, Wayland Industries, and Rugged Radios are... Thank you very much. Don't forget my race pass. Fans, not only here at the track, but those at home, you can follow along. It gives you up to date on uh, all the entries, over 600 sanctioning bodies and racetracks on my race pass. Get the app 
uh, Google Play and the App Store. Carl, you're familiar with them. Google Play and the App Store, my race pass. Go get that because that is very important. As I mentioned, it gives you up-to-date points, up-to-date results, lap by lap, time trials, hot laps, heat races, B mains, feature, entries, it does it all. Upcoming schedules, over 600 racetracks and series are involved the most comprehensive race app available. And you can use it while you're here at the racetrack sitting in the stands on this sunny afternoon. Wherever you're at, mama's basement, wherever you want to tune in. All right, ready to go. All right, coming up next, we'll have all-star performance time trials. It'll be the little first by the current Midwest Sheet Metal Spoiler Challenge points leader by 10 over Hudson O'Neill. It'll be the 20RT. Out of Martinsville, Indiana, three wins this year. It'll be Ricky Thornton, Jr. Ricky Thornton, Jr., the Todd and Vicky Burns, SSI Motorsports, Big River Steel, Hoker Trucking, Coltman Farms, Dino One, Inc., Westside Tractor Sales, Bill Stein Shocks, EMD Wraps, Sonoka Race Fuels, Longhorn Clements, followed by the number nine. He's out of Mooresville, North Carolina, the Ty Tordic Motorsports entry. That'll be Nick Hoffman. Nick Hoffman in Carter Benign. He's the NOS Energy Drink. CNW Trucking, Petrov Towing, Bill Stein Shocks, Tri Valley Equipment, All Guy Performance Parts, Hall and Haskell's, Longhorn Clements for Nick Hoffman. Up after him will be the 49 car, three time Lucas Oil Champion. He is a winner in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series 74 times. That is Jonathan Davenport. Jonathan Davenport out of Blairsville, Georgia, in the Lancer Darla Landers, Double O Motorsports, Nutrient Act Solutions, Dyna Gross Seed, Lucas Oil Products, Bill Stein Shocks, ASC Warranty, Mark Martin out of Body Mega Plumbing of the Carnage VP Fuels, Longhorn Clements for Corey Fosved, the crew chief on car 49. Davenport has 75 career wins. That's third all time behind Scott Bloomquist and Jimmy Owens. Ricky Thorne Jr., the crew chief, Anthony Burrows, DJ Williams, Justin Tharp on the crew as we have a caution here. Ricky Thornton Jr., the 20RT, three wins this year. The current series points leader down the main straightaway. And it's 13-3-1-6, 13-3-1-6 for Thornton. And Nick Hoffman, he'll go to the top of the board at 13-1-3-0, 1-3-1-3-0. John of the Davenport, second at 13-1-4-8. RTJ, lap two goes back to second, 13-1-3-9. Hoffman, can he get to 12? Nick Hoffman will go to 13-1-2-5. It's quicker, fast time, Hoffman. And JD, he'll go fast time. 13 0 5 4, 1 3 0 5 4 for Jonathan Davenport. All right, it'll be the 111. Last night's nice Todd Steele Buddings hard charger. Last year's O'Reilly Auto Parts rookie of the year, Max Blair. He's at the Centerville PA. He's at the Centerline Motors Wars, Brad Spochaz. Upstate Auto Group. Preside Auto Sales, CJ Derry Murphy's logging Longhorn Clements. Well, about the 43. He's out of Ainsworth, Iowa. It'll be Derek Stewart of the Stewart Sons Limited. Houston Act Company, Arden Motor Supply, Keltner and Company, Welding and Fabrication. Grace Motorsports, Capital O Pro Racing Engines, Max Blair, 13598-13598, Stewart at 14-326, Seth Daniels, 13882, and the S21 is out of Jackson, Ohio, and the Tim Haddle Trucking, Wilson Excavating, Red, Red's Rolling Garage, Montgomery Motorsports, 740 Race Cars, excuse me, RaceGas.com, s and Transport, a Truck Stop, Wilson Motorsports, Graphic Creations, Rocket Pro Power, Max Blair, Lap two is 13-366. That gets quick as lap. That's fourth overall right now. Lap two for Derek Stewart in 43 is 14-310. That'll be his quick lap. And Seth Daniels, uh, second lap is 14-311. Excuse me, 14 triple one. He'll load on lap one at 13-882. Up next will be the 93. He's on Lincoln in North Carolina. That is 
Cousin Carson. That's Carson Ferguson in the Paylor Motorsports entry. Well, number the 25 and 11 in Missouri. That is Tony Chickson Jr. Tony Chickson Jr. 25 in the 99. Last night's winner at Brownstown out of Dresden, Ohio. That is Devin Moran. Devin Moran. Carson Ferguson 13 326. 1 3 3 2 6. Tony Jackson Jr. 13 6 7 3. Moran lap one. He'll go to fourth in group A at 13 2 3 6. Here comes Carson Ferguson, lap 2, 13, 2, 6, 6. That'll be fifth. Jackson will go to six to 13, 3, 4, 3. Moran riding the wall out of four. Devin Moran down the straightaway, and he'll be at 13, 2, 6, 2, 1, 3, 2, 6, 2. That'll be fourth. Will be his first lap in car 99. He's in the Lazy Days RV, the RV Authority, Big River Steel, CNW Trucking, Bill Stein, McHugh, Chrysler, Dodge Jeep, Ram, Red Oak Pub, Smoky Mountain Speedway, Chuck Kimball, Mason Bavard. On the crew of the 99, Longhorn Clements up next will be the 32. He's out of Oakwood, Illinois. That'll be Bobby Pierce. Bobby Pierce of the Hoker Trucking. Low Voltage Solution, Missy of other tra- Transportation, Rio Grande Way Solutions. Collins Brothers Towing, Longhorn Vic Hill, the 7 out of Georgetown, Delaware's Ross Robinson. He's of the Stokely Materials, Commonwealth Equipment, Boswell Oil, Fox Shots, Atlantic Prime Mortgage, First State Roof and Exterior Cleaning. Add in ML Joseph Sander Gravel, Sussex Carpentry, Hard Scrabble Express. Lap one for Pierce is going to be fourth at 13.180. Ross Robinson, 13.750. Brandon Shepard is going to be ninth right now, 13.495. He is in the Coleman Farms, Longhorn Factory Car B5. Lap two for Pierce is going to go to second, 13.065. Ross Robinson, 13.794. Shepard will hold at ninth at 13.407. Again, in the Coleman Farms, Real Tree Outdoors, Messiah Valley Transportation, Valvoline, I Beam Signing Doors, UNO8, Sunoco Bill Stein, Longhorn Cornad. Up next will be the 19M. He's in the JCM Motorsports Car in Meridian, Mississippi. That'll be Spencer Hughes. Spencer Hughes in the Colt Miller. And three Yellowhammer Design and Construction, Clyburn Take Lines, Boswell Oil, Neon Bubbles Car Wash, Link Construction, Fox Shock, Steering Buddy, Professional Concrete Cutting and Drilling, Aubrey. Wormy Vaughn, the crew chief, on the Rocket Durham. Followed by the six out of Jupiter, Florida. The Brian Green crew chief entry. That'll be Clay Harris. Clay Harris in six. The Wilkerson Farms. Impact Electrical Services. Reserve Metal Framing. BGR Speed Shop. Poor Boys Racing Supply. Griffin Motorsports. Rocket Durham. Followed by the double zero to Wheathersburg, Ohio. R.J. Conley, son-in-law. That is Justin Cooper in the Rocket Dream. He's in the Conley Trucking. Conley River Terminal. Tanner's Truck Service. Double zero. Spence. 13, 4, 6, 5, 1, 3, 4, 6, 5 for Hughes. Clay Harris, 13, 7, 4, 7. Justin Cooper. In the double zero, he'll go at 14, 0, 8, 1. Hughes will go to fifth. And 13, 2, 0, 9 for Spencer Hughes. 1, 3, 2, 0, 9. Clay Harris, lap two is 13, 6, 6, 1. That's his quickest lap. Uh, and that's 11th. And then Justin Cooper in 11th at 14, 5, 2, 4 on lap two, 14th on lap one. So right now, through 15 cars, it's Jonathan Davenport at 13.054. Then it's Bobby Pierce, Nick Hoffman, Ricky Thornton Jr., your top four. Up next should be the 43. It's not. It's the one. That is going to be Tyler Herb. Tyler of the best performance entry out of New Waverly, Texas. He's in the Sunoco Race Fuels, Robert Speed Company, First Class Septic, Bulk Material Lift, Anthony Speed, Susanna Well, Rocket Clements, followed by the two-star out of Buckhannon, West Virginia. That is Shane Hitt. Son Logan hit first time here at Atomic. He's on the Jenkins board. Hit Enterprise, the TKS contracting, High Point Construction, Rocket Vic Hill, and Garrett Alberson in the 58 out of Dubuque, Iowa. In the Massive Electric Transportation Bill Sports Shop, Longhorn Clements for Kenneth Roberts, Tyler Herb, 11th at 13507, 13507. The two star Logan hit 14553, 14553. Alberson will be 11th at 13450. Turbo lap number two is going to be 13527. First lap will stand on that. That's 12th at 13.507. Lap two for Logan is 14.261. That'll be as fast as lap 17th quickest. And then Garrett Alberson at 13.474. Give Massive Valley Transportation, Bill Sports Shop, Bill Stein Shocks, Dunright TV, Fast Shafts, Snowco Race Fuels, Romer Machine and Welding, Lucas Oil, Capital Race Decals, Danny Albertson, his wife, crew chief on the 11 of Garrett Alberson. Here's the 75. He's up in Peru, Illinois now. We're going to get away to North Carolina. That'll be Daniel Wade. Daniel Wade and Brendan Smith will be the last two qualifiers here in Group A. Brendan Smith and the Sean Smith. Big Daddy's Cattle, Jim Pacino Trucking, Plum Crazy Plumbing, Guardian Hurricane Protection, Skipper Smokehouse, Rocket Durham. 
Adamson, he is in the Rocket Pro Power. Daniel Adam, 12, 13, 43. Brandon Smith, 14, 107. Integris Risk Solutions Mobilization Funding LLC Spiffies. Justin Langdon, Electrical Contractors, Restore Warehouse, RLM Enterprises on the 75. Daniel Adam, lap number two is 13, 5, 1, 2. He'll stand on lap one, which is 12. And in Brendan Smith, he'll go to 13, 9, 2, 8, 1, 3, 9, 2, 8. So that'll do it. No Dustin Sprouse did not qualify. So 20 of the 21 qualifying. It's Jonathan Davenport, 13, 0, 5, 4, 1, 3, 0, 5, 4 for Jonathan Davenport. Then it's Bobby Pierce. They will be your pole sitters in heats one and two. Then outside front row of heat one will be Nick Hoffman, Ricky Thornton Jr. outside of row number one in heat number two. Then it's Spencer Hughes, Devin Moran, Carson Ferguson, Tony Jackson Jr., Max Blair, Brandon Shepard, your top ten in group A. Heats one and two coming up in a little bit. Three oh five sprints will be coming up. For their hot laps, and that'll be before our national anthem and invocation. One more group to go yet. This will be heats three and four cars. We'll settle them up here at All Star Performance Time Trials. As we get those cars back to the pit area. The next three coming up next. First time here at Atomic. Last year's Lucas Oil MLRA rookie of the year out of Urbana, Missouri to be Dylan McCowan. In car number eight, he is in the Sonic Pomeroy Services, Mel Hamilton Ford. Empire Energy, BLC Transportation Heritage, Tractor Elite Construction, Longhorn, Scott Bailey, followed by the 93 out of Hanover, Pennsylvania. That is Corey Lawler. Corey Lawler, he is in the Ponchos Racing Products, Dry Dean, Coppins Auto Clinic, PPC Lubricants Company, Creekside Auto Sales, All About Wraps, Rocket Pro Power. It's followed Poncho Lawler, the crew chief on the 93. Then it'll be Rick Boom Briggs. Boom Briggs at a Bear Lake PA in 99B. In the day, Warren Power Sports, Excess Storage, Trans 58, Briggs Transport, Rocket Clemens, Shane Winans, the crew chief on the 99B. So we'll get those cars back to the pit area. And Group B will be coming up. Do three at a time again. So the time to beat overall is 13 54 by Jonathan Davenport. Again, the late model track record here is 12-7-4-8 by Jimmy Owens. March the 20th, 2015 in the Lucas Oil Race here. Owens will come out third from the tail end here. In this stout group of cars here this afternoon, again, the best of the best in the nation and the best in the best in the region here doing battle at Atomic Speedway. So Dylan McCowan in the Sonic number eight, Corey Lawler out of Hanover, Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania's Boom Briggs in the 99B. Your first three in group B this afternoon. It's still this afternoon, right? We're still, it's, six, it's, it's not a yeah. Sun doesn't go down to what, 745, we're good. An early evening, having fun. Dylan McCowan, the eight car. Ah, there you go. Long as we're done before the eclipse hits, we're good, aren't we? Huh? Totality. 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 What if it's cloudy and raining that day? What are we going to do? <laughs> you won't be able to see it, right? Just be I, dark I anyway. Have no idea. It's right through Indiana, right? Actually, like right through the middle of Ohio. Okay. 13, 9, 1, 6. Oh, Dylan Boom's McCowan got trouble. 14, 4, 1, 6, and Boom into the wall. Boom Briggs up against the wall in turn four. So McCowan and Lawler. Dylan gets a lap at a 13, 9, 1, 6. Corey at 14, 4, 1, 7. And Boom Briggs rubbing the freshly painted white in turn four. Yeah, that cushion in three just kind of sucked right him up in there. Flat too, yeah. yeah. Yep. He goes back to the pit area. So, Boom, who had a good showing last night at Brownstown, winning one of the B mains. He's going to have a long night. Yep. 
All right, we'll go with McCowan and Lawler. They'll get another lap. We'll start them with a the white. Lawler was here last year. McCowan has never been here. McCowan, again, that solid run in the Show Me 100 last year as he comes out of turn number four. See what Dylan McCowan can do. And he'll go at 13.957. Not as good as this first lap. Corey Lawler, lap number two. Corey Lawler be 14.066 quicker, but still second right now to two cars. So no time for Boom as he's going back to the pit area. So it'll be the Rocket One. That'll be Tim McCready. If I say 39, you just slap me on the shoulder, right? Two-time Lucas Oil Late Mother Dirt Series National Champion Tim McCready in the Mark Richards Racing, Valvoline, Petro Towing, Franklin Enterprises, the Swebert Cap Wrenches, Performance Grading, Ace Metal Works, Styles Marine, and Maintenance Gunners, Honey, Fox Shock, Sonoka, Race Fuels, Danny White, the crew chief on one, then 11 out of Verona, Kentucky. That is Josh Rice. Josh Rice and Rick Jones. Rice excavating and plumbing. Sending his construction. Extreme Sportswear. Chain Locker. Air Max Heating and Cooling Impact. Race Gear. Grease Monkey. Princes. Rocket Big Hill. And in Brandon Waggle. He's in the middle of West Virginia. In the Jug Restaurant and Ice Cream. Rocket Mullins. McCready, 13.585. Fast time. Josh Rice Group B so far. 13.525. Brandon Waggle at 14.868. McCready fastest in Group B right now. 13.371. Rice off the pace. Not sure if it got into the wall. 15.03. Brandon Waggle, lap two, is going to be 14.282. 14.282 in the Ridge Runner Farm. Scott West Racing. Specialized asphalt. Landon Hall Construction. Titan Energy. Rocket Mullins for Brandon Waggle, his father, Steve Waggle, five-time track champion over at Tyler County. So it's Tim McCready, 13-3-7-1. Quickest so far here in Group B. It'll be the 18-D. The big perm coming at you, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Dalton Wilson, the James Ralliff, MGL Auto Sales, JRR Trucking, the Auto Ad, Led Keltner Contracting, Earnhardt Technologies, Wayne Lee Farms, Innovating Communications, Mail Construction, New Point Lighting, Worldwide Custom Car Haulers, Longhorn Clements. For the final winner, the East Bay Winter Nationals, Dalton Wilson, second here at Atomic 13, 4 9 4 It's RJ Conley. I love that name, big perm, though. Can't beat that. Conley Trucking, Conley River Terminal Impact Race Gear, Basel Race Fuels Rocket for RJ. First race since East Bay, 14 8, 7, 8 trip, Gerald in the four at 14 0 1 6 out of for sales, Kentucky in the Valvoline. The four G's, grit and glory, Rocket Durham. Dalton Wilson, lap two, slower than his first one. Lap two is 13 5 7 7. He'll stand on lap one, 13 4 9 4. RJ Conley. The defending track champion here at Atomic, 14-3-6-4. That's eighth and Trip Gerald. A good qualifying run at Brownstown last night. 14-0-3 in a lap two for the Kentucky driver. Up next should be the 43. There he is, Mike Sprouse. He's out of Parkersburg, West Virginia in the kryptonite, followed by the C4 and another kryptonite. The fastest ponytail, Parkersburg, West Virginia, is Freddie Carpenter in the 68 in the Jim Beamer rocket. That is Adam Stricker, Sprouse in the Beamer's auto body. Collision repair. El Mariachi kills general contracting, Octane Race Products, Stray Bullet Motorsports, SCD Leasing, Rockies Towing and Recovery, Frames, etc., and Norwood Antique Mall, Kryptonite Ramey. Lap one for Sprouse in the steel block. Going to be 15 1 8 9. Adam Stricker goes to second at 13 4 3 8. 1 3 4 3 8. Freddie Carpenter 14 6 5 6 on lap one. Lap two for Sprouse 15 2 6 4. Freddie 15 2 6 0. Oh, Stricker. And no, he'll hold on lap one. Lap two is 13.505. Lap one, second quick in group B, 13.438 for Adam Stricker out of Batavia, Ohio. In the Beeman Lummers, Stainless Craft LLC, Players' Choice Playing Cards, Stricker's Auto Parts, Affordable Todd, Wrecker and Repair, B&B Auto Care, Valvoline Fox Shocks, Rocket Clements, and Freddie Carpenter. He is in the Stutler Motorsports, JRD Automotive, Gates Trucking, Posky's Performance, K&M Auto, Capital Automotive, CNT Services, Harris, Wamsley, Wamsley Enterprises. Up next will be the 20. He's out of Parkersburg. No, he's not. He's not out of Parkersburg, West Virginia. He's out of Carpentersville, Illinois. We have two back-to-back Parkersburg, West Virginia. There might be a Parkersburg, Illinois. Well, that's Dennis Earp, Jr., 28. Drake Troutman out of Hyman, PA, the 7. And Mike Marler, the 157 out of Winfield, Tennessee. Troutman to go to third at 13 triple four. Oh, Marler will go to second at 13-3-8-9. Herb's first lap was 14-3-8-3. 
Dennis Herb, he'll go to seventh at 13, eight, four, five. Troutman, third at 13, four, two, zero. Marler, and Marler not as quick as lap one, 13, four, four, nine, but his first lap is second quick in the 157 out of Winfield, Tennessee. In the truck country, Mississippi Valley Transportation, Olson Explosive, Bill Stein, VP, Capital Signs, Petrov Towing, Bruning Rock Products, Browns Heavy Equipment, Cannon Mellow Salvage, Josh Davis, Cody Smith, Jerry Sprouse, and the crew of the 157. Troutman RFI Resources, Wheeler Fleet Solutions, Bill Stein, Stone Natural Resources, Jerry Siding, Riffing and Windows, Certain Teed, Thunder Hill Trucking, and Morocco Welding, Longhorn, Jay Dickens. It'll be Brian Shirley, the 3S out of Chatham, Illinois. Followed by the 57 out of New Concord, Ohio. It's Caden Black in the number 71, the can of Rumley Long, out of Martinsville, Indiana, the defending Lucas Oil champion at a Sunset O'Neill. Here comes Brian Shirley. Lap one for Squirrel. Brian Shirley is going to be seven. The 13, 617, 3, 617. Caden Black, his first race to the year. Go to 10th. Good job. 13, 9, 8, 1, Hudson O'Neill. And Hudson O'Neill will be sixth. The 13, 5, 1, 8. Shirley trying to pick it up. Brian's lap two, not as good as his first one. 13, 6, 7, 5, the Lord on lap one, which is eighth. Caden Black, 11th at 14, 0, 6, 4. Slower than his first one, 13, 9, 1. Hudson O'Neill, fast time, group B. 13, 3, 4, 8, 1, 3, 3, 4, 8 for the Black 71. Of the defending Lucas Oil champion in the reigning world 100 winner, Hudson O'Neill in 71. 13, 3, 4, 8. Still Jonathan Davenport, 13-0-5-4. And here is the current track record holder, the number 20 out of Newport, Tennessee, Jimmy Owens. Followed by the 28 out of Parkersburg, West Virginia, Tyler Carpenter, the number 10 of Garrett Smith. Jimmy Owens, first lap here for the track record holder. In con number 13-2-3-2, that is fast time in Group B. Carpenter. 13815 Garrett Smith 13486 Jimmy Owens left 13120 quickest in group B Carpenter at 13 triple eight left one will be 11th Garrett Smith 2022 DTWC winner 13517 so how about that it's not the fastest overall but it's the fastest in group B how about it for the 20 of Jimmy Owens Sprint cars coming up next for their hot laps. Then we'll have our opening ceremonies. Be sure to visit Arizona Sports Shirts here behind the grandstand area. Official Lucas Oil Late Monitor Series race wear. We have t-shirts, we have sweatshirts, we have hats, we have decals. We have license plates, we have the whole thing. Back at Arizona Sports Shirts. Hi, James. Rob Penrod. Good to see you, man. 